Former Ghana striker Rafael Duamena has died. The 28-year-old collapsed on the pitch on Saturday after suffering a heart attack during an Albanian league match. Duamena was the leading scorer in the Albanian league this summer with nine goals. In the world of soccer, tragedy struck as 28-year-old Rafael Duamena collapsed on the pitch. He would pass away. He'd won nine caps for Ghana and was once considered one of the country's rising stars. But he encountered several cardiac problems over the course of his career. Sadly, this is true. Personally, if Jamana uh, is my patient, I will sit Jamana down and probably call a year or two off, all right, to deeply go into whatever problem it is. And probably I will be tilted towards wanting to prepare him very well for a beautiful retirement from sports. This interview was from 2021 with Ghanaian Dr. Prince Pambo, a respected medical professional who has also worked for multiple clubs in Ghana. He advised Duamena to retire. I think when some of these things happen, uh, it's, it's, it, a, a bold decision would have to be taken and I'll be tilted towards wanting to prepare my patient to have a clean and a very good exit point and, and see how he can use the experience he's gathered from playing football to help the same industry, probably from a, a technical point or an administrative side of things. This perspective came after a series of incidents with the player. Duamena came up through Red Bull Ghana and played for Red Bull Salzburg's academy team. He would accumulate nine caps for Ghana's national team. After starring in Austria, the Premier League came calling with Brighton and Hove Albion putting in a transfer for Duamena. Then, suddenly, the deal fell through. Although the club would keep the reasoning tight-lipped, we would later learn why this came to be. His dream move would come to a halt after failing a medical due to a heart condition. From there, he was sent back to FC Zurich. In 2019, while playing for La Liga Side Levante and on loan at Real Zaragoza, doctors recommended his immediate withdrawal and retirement from football. While at Levante, an ICD or implantable cardiovascular defibrillator was fitted to Duamena. This is the same device that was fitted to Danish midfielder Christian Eriksen. In 2020, according to the Telegraph, Duamena would have heart surgery for a pulmonary condition. From Levante, he went to Denmark. At one point, his club halted Duamena from entering a game because his ICD showed values that were considered too high. The club would confirm the Ghanaian would be out an extended period of time. In 2021, while suiting up for Austrian side Blau Weiss Linz, Duamena would collapse again. He was shocked back to life. The match would be abandoned. Two months later, Blau Weiss Linz would terminate his contract. As many learn from Ericsson's collapse at the Euros, restrictions vary across domestic leagues on whether players can continue to play after having implantable cardioverter defibrillators fitted. His club, Inter, based in Italy, Inter Milan, would not clear Christian Ericsson. Thus, he went to the Premier League where he was able to get approval in order to suit up once more with the defibrillator. He would play for Brentford and is now with Manchester United. Fast forward to 2023, Duamena joined Albanian Super League club FK Ignacia to restart his blighted career. Things have been looking up for the talented striker who scored 20 times in 28 games. Duamena would collapse during a match on Sunday. The Albanian Football Federation, or AFL, would tell the BBC... Despite the immediate intervention of specialist doctors, he unfortunately passed away. The doctors would speak with local media further. The patient came to Kavaha Hospital in the Black Code. That is, he had exodus, the medical term for death, without vital parameters, without tension, without breathing, without cardiac activity. There was no activity in the EKG. I remember years back 
if some of you have been around that long enough, thank you. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, we had a segment called TYT Sports Locked Out because we could not get any studio time. <laughs> and Ben Mankiewicz and I created it, and we would just shoot clips outside. And I remember when I saw the video of Fabrice Muamba collapsing. And I remember thinking that we might have just seen someone pass away on the pitch. I remember feeling that same grief, near grief, with Damar Hamlin. And now we are seeing it once again, except it is terminal. Truly. I hope his family is somehow finding peace. For Dwamena, rest in peace to him, man. It is terrible seeing this. As someone who, I said in a previous clip, has covered the sport of boxing over and over again, I've seen too many fighters die in the ring from blows to the head. And... I just truly, truly hope, I truly hope that there is more advanced medicine because for a lot of athletes, the one thing that they can't give up is the sport because they love it so much. So RIP to him and I wish his family the best. I truly do.